Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. You're back, so that means you're a very forgiving person. Didn't mean to scare you in the last video. But uh, here we are in lab number four, where we're going to now add video capture to our Contoso cookbook. Task number one tells us to take uh, steps towards that end. You'll notice that the steps are almost identical to the steps that it required to uh, take the photo. We're going to create a private storage member called video. We're going to re-implement the on capture video. Instead of just showing the share UI, we're actually going to take the video and then show the share UI. And then on data requested is where uh, you'll recall we're actually transferring the data then to the share through the share contract. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and implement this on the same page that we were working with last time. The item detail page.xaml.cs and so let's go ahead and paste in our private storage file called video we're going to re-implement the on capture video just like we did with the photo so I'm just going to blow away what was previously there and paste in the new code again capture file async same as capture file async here the only difference is that we're changing video settings format to capture uh, camera capture UI video format dot WMV all right and then in the on data requested we're merely adding this else statement but I'm gonna go ahead and just re-implement this entire method since I have it on my clipboard now and so let's go ahead and just select the entire on data requested and then paste the new one in. So here's our new else statement. All right. And uh, now let's take a look at our instructions here. Uh, go to the capability section and make sure that uh, to select the microphone box, this is necessary because when you capture video, the camera capture UI uses the microphone along with the camera. All right, so this is the tricky part for me now. Not only do I lose my camera, but I'm gonna lose the audio as well. But hopefully this will work, and when it does, you'll see me just running the application, and then I'll take a video, and then we'll, we'll reset and, and, shut, and uh, close out the video. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I hope you appreciate all the effort that I went into to get my puppy to pay attention long enough for two seconds to be on camera. At any rate, uh, this is exciting though, right? We've integrated some really nice features into our app. Now it's time to learn a little bit more about the lifetime of our apps. What happens when a user exits out of our app and wants to jump back in later? How should our app respond? How should we restore the previous session? So we're going to learn more about that in the le next lesson. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.